Aloha YouTube, this is your boy Crypto Roots and I'm back at it again, spitting more crypto game, the DeFi Kingpin, Dreddy Nakamoto, the Blockchain Hustler, Mr. Crypto Exotic, Crypto Marley, shouts out to Elon Marley, and your boy Crypto Roots that stepped up his game. I'm sipping on some fine NFT wine. Man, so I've been preaching about NFTs and non-fungible tokens forever on my channel. Check out all my old videos. Now, I've been big on Crypto Kitties, but I haven't been super bullish on Crypto Kitties due to the kitty inflation because the whole purpose is to breed them. And that creates more and more and more and more inflation. Now, I haven't been big besides people uh, on NFTs, all the recent ones. But um, I just recently found a collection of NFTs that I'm really into and I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars just buying them up as soon as they launch now here, as you can see here's my uh, uh, avatar this is a Van Gogh punk the Van Gogh punks come originate from the crypto punks but with a new artistic style to it so why why is every why is a crypto punk so important well according to this guy NFT collector and trader and flipper if you want to improve your engagement on Twitter, get a punk. Hint from several first-time punkers that their followers' likes and replies have surged since going punk. A punk just isn't the first NFT. It is a camaradari. Kama <laughs> I can never say that right. Kamadari, kamadari. Uh, uh, it is proof that you are a forward-looking thinker. So it's saying that you the shit. Society is saying that you the shit. You're not saying society is saying by people being more engaged with you, by following you and paying attention to you, that this is a, it's a status symbol and that you think differently than the rest of the world by having a, a crypto punk as an avatar. OK, so what is a crypto punk? Crypto punks are 10,000 unique collectible characters with proof of ownership in the Ethereum blockchain. The project is the first ever non-fungible token to employ in Ethereum. As a result, CryptoPunks is the backbone of the ERC721 token standards, which powers nearly all blockchain digital art and crypto collectibles. More importantly, without CryptoPunks, we may have we may not have the modern crypto art movement we see today on such platforms. So, they're the first non-fungible tokens ever on the Ethereum blockchain, and they are what sparked the crypt NFT crypto collectible revolution. And there's only 10,000 of them. So what is a CryptoPunk? They are uniquely generated characters in the form of 20 by, 24 by 24 pixel art images. No two punks are alike as they have been generated algorithmically. As you may have guessed, the characters follow a punk theme through their, uh, though there are some rare types such as apes, zombies, and even some aliens using this website. You can browse a CryptoPunk to see their accessories and attributes along with transaction sale history meaning you can always verify so everything's verifiable every you can track the ownership there's different rare traits and attributes okay now if you go to the main website this is the main website and these are the different types of crypto punks they're the first kind and they were giving them out for free literally for free you can go and pick one up for free now look at the floor price the floor is the the the, the lowest one being sold on average I, it's $29,000 on average, the lowest one, the, the least quality one, I guess, what people are saying. is 29 Gs. The highest one, dude, is 7.57 million. All right? This, uh, this is another one, even higher. So this is a big industry. This is big money. This is big, big money right here. Now, to be honest, I'm not really feeling the pixelated art. It's not my style. I, I just don't find it aesthetically pleasing. Uh, so that's why I never really, yeah, you know, it's just, I don't, I don't like it to be honest. I like the uniqueness. I, I like everything else about it besides the actual art itself. So I wasn't big on crypto punks, but as you can see, it's being used as a status symbol. If you have it in your crypto Twitter avatar, it's a flex because people know you had, you had to spend major bread to get one of these, right? So it's, it's being used as a flex, a status symbol, uh, in, the, in the, the new decentralized modern world. Like, this is it, man. This is like the Mercedes-Benz, Lexus, diamond jewelry type shit, you know, is having a crypto punk. All right. And this crypto punk sold for $7.5 million. And it's an alien punk. Literally, literally it's just pixels. 
But man, I'm telling you, it goes for big money. So I understand the value aspect of what people find valuable about CryptoPunks, but I just didn't find it visually pleasing to me. Now, here's another one going for 75 grand. Just getting a little creative, but still with the same pixelated style. Okay. Um, proof that a punk avatar drives Twitter engagement. This user has seen likes and replies drop by 90% since switching his avatar from a chat punk to a virgin pixie thingy before and after. So people are going to engage with you more if, if, if you have this status symbol. You know what I'm saying? I don't make the rules, bro. I don't. This is just how society works when it comes to value and collect collectibles. And, you know, people know that you got the bread to afford it, you know, to have it in your avatar. So I recently got into Van Gogh punks. Van Gogh punks. Let's see. This is a punk that I just recently bought. So it took it took from the aspects of crypto punk with Van Gogh Renaissance art kind of style. And I really, really like it. I really enjoy it. I spent like, yeah, I spent a long time, hours just scrolling all through all these punks, right? So Van Gogh Punks is a digital art project on the Ethereum blockchain paying homage to Vincent Van Gogh. They're unique and single edition one-on-one -on -one NFTs, only 900 of them. There were 10,000 Crypto punks. There's only 900 unique Van Gogh punks will be created. This project is inspired by three punks. Is not affiliated. So Van Gogh. I, I just I became full, super bullish. I, I was just like, this is cool. This is something I can get down with, right? So this was the first one I bought. This was my first collectible, and I spent you know what all the ones I collect I spent thousands and thousands of dollars, especially with gas. But I understand the value about value behind it. You know, and I'm like, yo, other people will find this valuable. And I just literally like looking at it. I think it's cool. And I think it plays off the the first generation of crypto punks. All right. So I'm going to leave a link uh, down in the description for all this. Here's, an, here's another one uh, that I bought. I just I just like the aspect of it. And uh, yeah, I can't really say why I like. I just like looking at it and I, I don't mind holding it long term. And I really think these can go up in value. The fact that they're rare, they're one, they're one to one NFTs. There's not extra special editions, and that there's just a lot less of them. And now that I, you know, I, I just, I don't even know. I'm excited. I don't even know how to express it. Now that I'm an art collector, I'm an official NFT art collector. Like I like, I, so I was going for the the, the ones with the, the serious stare. I, I just kind of identify it. Like I wanted to get the ones that I identified with. And so I, I spent the bread, man. I spent the bread and I got these NFTs. And I, I don't, you know, I believe this can go up. I don't know how, how much, but I believe it could go up once people really catch on and see see what this guy, what this artist is doing. And here's another punk that I just bought. Reminds me of Kanye West or something, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, I... I so this is this is it this is your boy roots man uh sorry my cat's kind of distracting me she's trying to chase a lizard um but yeah i'm an nft collector bro i'm an nft collector i spent thousands of dollars now i'm sitting on it and believe me I, I plan to make a return on my investment i really do i really do but i've seen what crypto punks can sell for and i'm like yo this can get at least a tenth or a third a, a, a quarter of that market you know what i'm saying in my opinion so if you if you like any of my punks and if you want to make an offer, you know what I'm saying, and if you want to check it out, I'll leave the links down in the description. But I done leveled up, man. I done put my money where my mouth is. I'm an official NFT art collector, and I plan to make some serious bread. So holla at your boy Crypto Roots for the mentorship and consultation. I'm just keeping you up to date about my crypto investments and letting you know what you know you could potentially invest into and what other people are investing in. And none of this is financial advice. I can lose money on all this. I can't. I won't be able to sell. But the fact that I can put these up for loans as well, I can get get out loans and borrow against these NFTs, bro. Man, you don't even know how deep this game goes. Holla at your boy Roots. Peace.